Yo! What up, y'all, and welcome back to another one. Real quick before we get into today's video, I want to let you guys know all of the Bucks gear is available at buckshunting.com. I will link it at the top of the description below. This uh, Founders Tee will only be available today on opening day. Right there it says 8-3-21, the day that Bucks launched. Today, 24 hours, is the only day for you guys to cop this shirt. Hurry and grab it while they last, but hurry and get down in the description, hit the link, and go pick up something. Whenever you guys pick up something, tag me on Instagram on your story and I will share your post. But thank you all so much, let's get into it. y'all welcome back to another one yeah that's what i'm dealing with today another predator issue who would have known huh yeah not good we're at the truck stop and welcome back welcome welcome back predator issue obviously has not let up uh it's the cat and in the last video i asked you all hey should i pull this trap and take it over to the Cosmosphere, or should I leave it here? And a ton of you told me to pull it. Uh, the only reason why I want to leave it here is uh, a lot of you, what, two trapping videos ago, there was a banded homing pigeon, a racing pigeon, that almost went in the trap. And it was a beauty. I'd love to have that in my loft. But this is an issue. This right here. That's like three birds dead, so. I'm really, I'm in a funk about it, put it that way. Because it's obviously still catching birds, right? I mean, I feel, I, I, I don't want to be rude and everything keep dying in there, but. All right, all right, you talked me into it. We're gonna take her, we're gonna take her over to the Cosmosphere. Uh, I have not got to check the Cosmosphere as of yet. I'm sure we got a bunch of birds in there. Um, I'm hoping. I'm hoping. Maybe something didn't work out and they just hated the trap. I mean, you really never know. With all of the bad luck that's been happening here at the truck stop, the Cosmosphere just seems like it should be better. A lot of y'all commented, Bobby, the pigeons at the truck stop are now old, mature, and they know what you're doing. And they all are in there still. I've told you that forever. I bet you I can see 20, 50 pigeons right there. Uh, they know not to come over here now, especially probably because of the predators. So they've really smartened up and I'm really sick of my birds dying, you know, unwillingly. Uh, so we're going to move. But if you're new to the trapping videos, go ahead and subscribe guys. Uh, all kinds of pigeon trapping. We're rolling into bird hunting mode here come the, the mid of this month, only in literally 14 days. We will be in North Dakota shooting honkers, and it's gonna be fun. The channel is a waterfowl hunting channel, but has became a bird channel. Bird shooting, wing shooting, trapping. Hope you all like it. If you do, please, please, if you like these videos, smash the thumbs up button. But if you're a hunter and you're ready for them goose hunting and duck hunting videos, dove hunting, you got to smash the thumbs up button because it's the season's almost here, boys. <sighs> Always tired, by the way. If you guys can tell a difference in the uh, audio quality, your boy bought a new mic. I, it was past time, so. Oh, wow, look at that. Oh, there was, a, there was a white pigeon that just got up right there. Look at this. <laughs> oh, boy. Bam! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Dude, yeah, buddy. Yes, that's what's up. There's some adults in there too. Ooh, there's some pretty ones. Let's get to looking at these guys. That is awesome. Did we get any rain? No, not even a drop. That's, uh, if you're new to the channel, that's my free rainwater catcher roni right there. Uh, Cause when I don't have rainwater, 
I got to bring up reused water bottles. Yes, I reuse the old ones and refill them. So don't complain, please. Well, just got done filling the water up. Let's pull these birds out and give them a look here, huh? This guy, your head was stuck, bud. Look at this one. We got some white flights on that guy. White flights, uh, any bands? No bands, uh, not a really, really young bird. Not bad. What's next? We got a blue bar. That is an older-ish bird. Again, probably about the same age. No bands. And in this corner, first one, we got a blue, blue bar. He is an older bird there. Good looking guy, really big. Heck yeah. This is awesome. Seven birds in the old trap. This is one of our special ones today. Uh, special, he's got some red. He's got some auburn red colors. It's a blue bar, but he is uh, like an off-white color. Any bands? Hey, don't slap me, bud. Come on now. No bands on the guy. He's pretty. Three more to go. That's unreal. Look at this guy. This is a almost a black check, but he's still a blue. Any bands? None. A lot, lot younger bird. He is a young, young juvenile pigeon. Next one up. Another, yeah, young bird. Blue check. No bands. Quality birds, guys. It's awesome, man. Last one up. That's an adult. Nah, still a youngish blue bar. No bandage on him either. Now I can't mess around guys. I got them in the bucket. I have to get them down to the truck and get them in the uh, open cage so they can breathe a lot better. Let's go. Woo. But that's spot number two. Seven birds made up for none at the truck stop. I think it'll be a good move, honestly, moving the other trap to the Cosmosphere. I just feel like those birds are new. They're a lot dumber. And with this trap, this is my only trap in the middle of the city, in the heart of the city. The Costas Fair is in the heart of the city as well. So I just think there's a lot more birds just transferring around. On top of building to building to building to building. Get what I mean? A lot more quantity, a lot better chance to catch more birds. Let's just put it that way. Again, guys, if y'all are liking these videos, please let me know by smashing the thumbs up button. Seriously, it helps me know a lot. I would really appreciate it if you guys would help me get this video over 2,000 likes. Man, I remember two years ago, I could ask for two or 4,000 likes, especially during the season. It's a lot different, but y'all would do it. And uh, I just ask you guys with the hunting season coming, please, 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 all my avid viewers, the one thing that you can do is smash the thumbs up button. It helps so, so much. Well, we are here and check that out. There was about 10 up there before I came busting up here. This is the situation. I haven't really showed you guys this yet. This right here. Yeah, that is the ladder. Uh-huh. That's the ladder I gotta crawl up to get up here. This is the only way to get new traps up here as well. Yep, paracord, that's the only way. One man band today. Ah, there we go. Well, this uh, trap, guys, is a lot smaller than the other one uh, that we have up there. A lot of y'all recommended it last time that I use a rope to go up this ladder. Up here is where our other trap is. And by the looks of it, the pigeons have found the corn because they don't want to leave with me walking up to them. Oh, there he goes. But we're gonna have to get up there and check it. As far as placement, we're gonna wait to check it for one second. As far as placement of the new trap, that's what I'm really debating and ultimately kind of worried about. I wanna make the right call. We have one over there, so I wanna get one in another really high trafficked area. And this automatically catches my attention. This ducting here, uh-huh. See, the problem before, I was gonna put it over there. But the problem is, uh-huh, lots of rocks. And 
our corn won't stand out as much. A lot of you said, hey, bring some black tar maps and stuff. Well, I found some that y'all seen, but there's no more up here. And I don't feel like bringing a lot of stuff up here, to be honest with you. So I'm gonna do some scoping here. We have not went up on this one yet though. Let's check it out. It's pretty short. What do we got going on up here? Ooh, that's a good spot. Ooh. Well, that's it, boys. Oh, look at that. Oh, there goes two. And look, the whole edge is just littered with poop. That's gonna be our second spot. For sure. Let's get her set up. Woo. <laughs> uh, all for some pigeons, boys. All for them pigeons. Woo. Hey, if I don't do it, who's gonna? I think that's one rewarding thing about this. It's really spreading throughout the city. When I go to Walmart, when I go to the mall, heck, even at a gas station, a lot of people say hi now and it's uh it's rewarding to give back you know like the costumes fair they don't pay me nothing i grew up here i grew up in this building per se i went to school right over there helping my hometown out and making some entertaining videos for you guys it's my dream come true honestly i want to thank you all for being here man i, I have to say it every video because if i don't i feel guilty because i truly thank y'all sitting at uh I think it's like 92 degrees. Not near as much humidity as last week. Good little breeze, not bad, but it's hot up on this roof, y'all. Well, here we go. This is the situation. Good little area. Like I said, our other trap is on that roof. Um, if anything else, there's a lot of you that commented, Bobby, you need three more traps. If indeed we need more, I would say one more, three total. And there was a lot of you that recommended that, and I think you're right. Because up there, one, two, and then you can even put one either out on that roof, this roof, or over there. Because I know they like to be on that peak a bunch. So, I like it. Drop a comment down below. Was this, was this the right move? Um, we're experimenting right now, guys. I mean, honestly, uh, it's a new place. You just got to try it. Now, what we've been waiting for, that's not good. There's a falcon. That's a falcon. Right there. Where, what are you doing, man? Get out of here. Oh, he's checking it out. I bet you he has found them pigeons. I hope we don't have some dead ones in there. Now, what's awesome, I can refill my water bottles right up here on the roof. Yeah, Mike, the maintenance guy, last time I was up here, he said, now, Bob, did you know there's a water spigot up there? And I went, what? There's a water spigot on the roof? He goes, oh, yeah, use it whenever. That right there is an absolute lifesaver. Because I bet you I'm already in way over 30 minutes just getting that trap up there. It takes a lot of time getting, you got to come in through the front door. You got to notify them that you're going up on the roof because there's, uh, uh, basically, there's an alarm on this uh, hatch that notifies the desk people when it's open. So if you don't warn them, they think they're getting broke into. So it's a whole process. I hope you guys are liking it up here so far. Well, we are up here. And all of you that were here before on the last video when we sat this trap, y'all seen the hat. Not only did I bait the trap heavy, but this whole edge where they like to sit I baited it really heavy. I put corn all in this corner everywhere and it's all gone. And we got pigeons. Not bad. Not bad for the trap being up here. What, only 20 foot, well no, 48 hours really total. Check it out. I already rebaited her. Look at that. Two birds, hello. I actually thought there would be a lot more, but like right now there's no pigeons around at all. Like. That big flock, it's not here right now. So it tells me they're not actually like living and roosting here. They must just, in the mornings when they go out to feed, they come and they flock here because it's a really high point. Uh, but check this out. There is one, two, three more levels. And that right there, I don't know if y'all can see down there very well. 
but it is littered with pigeon poop i mean everywhere that whole ac right there they sit on that a lot and from the looks of it there is no door oh that's how it works so check that out aha so there's a hatch right there that you come out of like our other hatch over yonder and then you take the ladder down then you can get over there i haven't been over there that would be another good place for a trap though ah uh, now one of the perks about trapping at the cosmosphere is right when i come down off the roof right into nice cool ac uh, this place is really cool though if you guys have never checked out the cosmosphere uh, you really should it's worth it take the kids uh, lots of different space stuff as you can see uh, they have a ton of historic artifacts everything you could think of thousands of things that you really need to see once in your lifetime i know by now y'all are probably going okay bob what's the deal what happened to your pigeons well it wasn't a bad thing let me say that first of all yeah they're all gone all of my feral pigeons i gave away uh right at 25 that were in here and it was full it was time to get rid of them um i didn't need them per se right i gave them to my buddy and uh my buddy he's the one with the big 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 barn pigeon loft remember that video from last year i believe he's got that big barn well he actually needed him he called me <clears throat> and he goes hey bob i seen that you had a lot of pigeons and it looked like your pen was getting overran now mind you i still kept our normal pigeons i'm not getting rid of them at all those these are my babies they ain't going nowhere but all them feral ones i was gonna sell them i was gonna do this or that you know but he needed them a lot more than i did he really does he's got his own little personal business and he does good with it and um he was a little short on some birds and I was like, hey, man, I'll help you out because you know why? You helped me out. He goes, oh, Bob, you ain't got to do that. I'll pay you. What do you want? And I was like, nothing, man. Long story short, y'all know that I have the lodge, right? Sand Hill Flyway. Um, <laughs> long story short, it has been very, 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 very hard finding general contractors or construction companies that aren't booked up because I'm needing some things done to the lodge. I'm needing, I want a big overhang right here, like a big porch area, big overhang, a door going in there, and a lot more things. And thanks to him, he hooked me up. He hooked me up big time. He works for a, a little construction company and they're scheduled to come out here this month, so. But big, big shout out to Dustin. Thank you, man. Uh, when I was like, hey man, you don't have to charge me. He's like, oh Bob, no way, I'm not doing that. And I'm like, yeah, dude, you helped me out a lot. Because I'm telling you, I could not find anybody whatsoever. Everybody was booked through September and they're able to get in here in August. So be expecting some lodge, uh, let's put it, update videos, lodge, uh, just new additions, really. But not a bad day. We got, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven in the bag. I left the other two pigeons at the Cosmosphere as bait birds. Um, I think it needs some bait birds at the get-go here. But with the Cosmosphere, I knew that I was just going to replenish. And we're already almost pretty much a third way there. One day of trapping on that Cosmosphere. But the old trap, man, that the old downtown trap, it really produced. That's where we got all these birds today. So, I mean seven more back in here immediately you know really not a big deal helping somebody else out and that's why i waited till the end of this video to talk about it because guys if you have an abundance of something that you really don't need i mean like really need you know um oh help somebody help them uh every chance i get here lately i'm not trying to be braggy but i just want to spread the good word if you can help somebody do it don't think twice if your brain goes "Ooh, that's a good idea that would make their day do it don't think twice about it if it's simply hey you can see somebody's having a rough day 
you just say hello how you doing i hope your day is going great or i love your shirt you know we were uh we were just on vacation and my wife actually we went to vegas put it that way there were some street performers with hardly no clothes on and they said hey cute couple y'all want a picture and my wife was like no thank you but you look beautiful and she like turned her head she's like well thank you so much you know a little bit goes a long ways for people and i think it's important to remember and i'm gonna remind you as as well as remind myself oh well with the new birds coming in here better get them some new water <sighs> which uh brings me to my next point and then we'll get out of here uh the last pigeon hunt that went up it was a gentleman's hunt and if you go on that video you will see a comment uh just basically talking trash on gerald y'all know g-wagon he's got some tattoos right here that he don't like he wished they were gone man but uh to just be rude to people this this goes with um the whole give it if you got it if you don't need it guys if you ain't got nothing nice to say especially young or old y'all need to learn not you not just just you know who i'm talking to y'all need to learn if you don't have nothing nice to say don't say it at all this guy was like man it looks like you let a three-year-old draw on your face and it, by his profile picture he was a grown man but uh pretty pretty uh disgusting to be honest with you change the world in the hunting world in the outdoor world all of this stuff that we like to do give back to one another be nice be kind seriously man everything doesn't have to be a d contest if you know what i mean be nice be nice be nice but subscribe if you haven't hit that little notification bell down there it'll notify you when i upload i hope you guys are enjoying the pigeon trapping uh if you have any recommendations for any videos that you want me to do please drop a comment down below like i said be expecting some new lease videos i got a new pond that i have to show you all that you haven't seen we're doing another pigeon hunt and on top of that the lodge but be safe out there until next time